What's up ladies and gentlemen, that one Andrew here and welcome to a brand new video. I guess it's kind of a video. Um, actually, welcome to Around the Gaming Block podcast number something. I think this is the fourth one. Uh, so, welcome everybody. Hello. This is going to be a little shorter. Well, I said that last time and I think uh, around the 20 minute mark was good. People seem to enjoy that. But um, this, I guess... You can count this as a 3.5. This isn't a full-blown podcast. Uh, some things have been going on right now, and um, I'll get to the update at the end of the episode because there's some people here that don't want to listen to that. So, um, anyways, if you can tell by the title and the video showing right now, I'm going to be playing the trailer, just multiple trailers of the series over and over. We're here to talk about Persona 5, and I've actually done a couple of videos about this topic before, but I saw my friend... Uh, Sophie, you can go check out Quicksilver Sophie. She made a video um, posted uh, saying what Atlas needs to do to make Persona 5 great. And this just made me think about a couple things like what do they really need to do to make this game great? And can this game be bad? Like, so, um, you know, we're just here to talk about a couple things. And I would love to talk to you guys about it too. So if you are a Persona or just gaming fan in general, whatever. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check that out and reply to you because Google is finally working now and they'll actually let me um, post comments. Anyways, let's get straight into the, to to the topic of Persona 5. Now first things first, um, the multi-platform, they've already got that down. They're releasing it on both the PS3 and the PlayStation 4, which I think releasing it only on the PlayStation 3 would have been a big, um, I don't want to say bad thing, just not great of an idea. I mean, Persona 4 came out in 2008, well into the PS3's life cycle. I think it was three or four years. So yeah, they would have been about on par if they would have just released it for the PS3 instead of the PS4. But there's much um, speculation around the community that the reason it got delayed a year was to transfer to PS4 and just make it as great of a game as possible. I mean, who knows? Atlas has been working hard, uh, allegedly. They've been working on this since Persona 4, probably even like around the release, I could imagine pre-production already started. I mean, just such a big series. But yeah, so I feel like we got the platforms down. Um, PlayStation Vita, no doubt that Persona 4 Golden is probably one of the best Persona games out there. Um, I mean, the Vita, it works so well, just JRPGs on the go, to play it anywhere. And then you got the PlayStation TV, which if you want to play it on your TV, you can do that. So I think in a couple years, it's not absurdly insane to think that Persona 5 will come to the PlayStation Vita. Probably downgrade, well, I'm not, I'm not sure about the graphics, it might be downgraded, definitely, I don't think the Vita can run this game at max, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know, they're using a whole different engine, so who knows, it might work, it could, and if it does, yeah, great, because Vita, I'm always for more JRPGs on the Vita, even though it has a Pokemon already, but yeah, platform wise, I think they're going to do good, got them on PlayStation, if, I mean, sorry Xbox fans, but Atlas, I mean, well, Persona, and Shin Megami Tensei in general have always been on PlayStation. Well, before that, they were on Nintendo, but they moved over after the SNES, and they're just a PlayStation for, uh, company now, unless you count crossovers like Shin Megami Tensei X, Fire Emblem, or Persona Q. But never have they been on Xbox to my history. I, some of the, I think some of the SMT games were, not, not a lot though, maybe one or two on the original Xbox. But anyways. So yeah, they have that down. Now the next thing that I'd like to talk about is the story. And I don't think they can mess this up. Uh, Persona is known for their great stories. Even Persona 1 didn't have a terrible story. That game's hard to play. Not just difficulty wise, but it's aged roughly. It's, um, it's very dated. You can just, just by playing it, even if it had graphics of today, you could tell this is a 90s game. But the story was there and it wasn't bad. And that Persona 2, obviously, in my opinion, I think is one of the best stories with the Joker and um, all that stuff. 
so yeah and then of course Persona 3 and Persona 4 amazing stories um, the whole investigation team with Persona 4 and uh, bringing the shadows and all that stuff Persona 3 and just it, it was if you've played the games which I'm assuming you have then you know how great the story is and you always it's never um, you can't predict them they're very unpredictable is what I'm going at. Like, they're very good. Very good at storytelling. Even the spin off games, amazing stories. Uh, Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Dancing All Night. That comes out in September, but it's supposed to, supposedly has a very extensive story mode. So I think the story they have down. Now, the thing that has a lot of people, I don't want to say worried, but questioned, or uh, like questioning them, is, um, well, right now we don't have much information. It's still coming out in 2015. Atlas is pushing that. TGS is coming up in a couple weeks. So we, we're we gonna see it there. It's already confirmed. And I am absolutely expecting a worldwide release date. If not worldwide, United States and Japan release date for December. My prediction, December 17th. I don't even know what date. I don't even know if that's like, uh, here, I'll check my calendar right now. Um, that's a Thursday, so it's not unheard of. Maybe December 15th, that could be a, that's a Tuesday, or the 18th. So I think between the 13th and 19th, that's my prediction of when it's going to be released. But a lot of people are still saying that we have so little information about it that it's not going to come out this year. But um, I want to say that I think that's one of the good things that Atlas has done, because trailers spoil so so much in this day and age like even if you don't know what it's about you know about it and the amount of stuff that we've seen from Persona 5 is perfect they don't need to release a new trailer to TG if anything for TGS I want them to release that one trailer that um, everyone got when they pre-ordered Persona 4 Dancing All Night from Japan I want them to release that, nothing else, and just slap a release date at the end of it. That's all I want them to do. Because right now, the two trailers we've got, we're excited. We know the first four main characters, and if they follow the pattern, hopefully they do. There will be eight in all, or somewhere around there, you know, whatever. And we've got glimpses of a couple other characters. There's this blue-haired dude, like, painting the walls or something. I don't know and Igor and the twins for the Velvet Room attendance. We've seen all that. It's good. We've seen kind of how they some of the personas. There's something about Mask. They're the enemies, but they're not. We don't really know, but that's perfect because we don't need to know more. I just watched, um, no, I didn't just watch, but there was, um, I didn't watch it actually. But there was this um, uh, gameplay of Shin Megami Tensei Expire Emblem. And it was 50 minutes long. And the game's not even out yet. I don't even think it has a release date yet. It might, but I've been very really interested in that game. But 50 minutes long, just showing everything about the game. And um, people that watched it said, I'm not excited for that game anymore. I mean, it's just like, that destroys the hype. And even if they did show it, Persona 5 is still probably, probably going to be amazing. Just our, ex our expectations are high. But those are expectations we've set for ourselves, and which is a little dangerous because when you have high expectations, the game um, products usually fall flat unless they're very good. So hopefully, um, this will be good, which I still think it's going to be good. It looks amazing right now, and just from what I've seen. But um, yeah, from the trailer, we saw. The first trailer, not not the teaser trailer, the first official trailer that we got in February, we saw them fighting personas, which has some people worried, or more confused than worried, I guess, because we don't know, are they going back to Persona 1 style, where you fight the personas and you have to use uh, this trading system and negotiation and stuff to get them? I hope they do not do that, because that would be a huge step back I think I think it's perfect what they have now and if they could integrate it some different way to where maybe if you defeat the persona you could get a card you get that persona's card 
kind of like Pokemon, maybe, but not Pokemon, because this isn't Pokemon, obviously. This is Persona, and we want Persona, not Pokemon. But I don't want them doing the whole negotiation and trading stuff, because that really sucked the fun out of the gameplay. Just running around, getting all those tarot cards, and it was really annoying after a while in the first and second game. So I hope that do, they do not do that. They would, I feel like that would be very um, unfortunate. FDP. And the last thing that um, needs to happen for Persona 5 to be good is to be the same yet different. And by that I mean have elements of Persona 3, Persona 4, and even 1 and 2, those obviously fighting the Personas, some, something from those games coming back. There's influence from those games that are entering here and it's set in modern day Tokyo it, it looks modern day I think it's um, 2016 is when the game is set uh, just the way the date's set up and all that so it's set in Tokyo Shibuya we saw Shibuya crossing and all that and it looks like it has the potential to be very good they just need to stick to the same formula and I know people like bash Call of Duty for being the same every year but the thing about Persona is, we get one, it's been seven years now since we've gotten a real, really new game. We got Persona 4 um, Golden in 2011, and we've gotten Q, Arena, Arena Ultimax, Dancing All Night, we've got all these, we've gotten all the remakes of Persona 3 Portable, Persona 1, Persona 2 Portable, we've gotten all those, but this is the first core game that we are getting in a long time. So, I wouldn't be upset if the game kind of copied itself, just changing settings and changing characters a bit. Like, I don't want the same characters, obviously, I want new characters, but I still want social links in there. That I, those are very important for its popularity, I think, and it's very fun just knowing, getting to know the characters and getting that depth into their lives and seeing their struggles and what they have to go through and being there for them, it really um, makes it makes everything feel more important. Persona 3 did alright with this, but Persona 4 really just kicked it out of the park, getting to know everyone and their struggles and how they go through life and what they have and just what they deal with day in and day out and the things that go through their mind. It was very good. So social links I hope are still there and I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that social links are still there, which is very good. So we have that, and then, um, you know, Persona Fusing, I feel like, again, so it's not Pokemon. It kind of feels like Pokemon in a way, like, oh, you know, you gotta go get all the Personas, but really, it's not. It's pretty different. So, I, Fusion, in a way, helps its diversity, and it's its own thing. It's something different. So keep that, and just all those cliche like oh we're going on a school trip or we're going to the hot springs all this Japan stuff because we're not we we like that stuff people who play Persona games like that stuff and I like to see the other side of culture I mean if you think about it Japan's on the other side of the planet Earth compared to the Uni United States in some areas so that's really the farthest humans can get from us and uh talking about birth and stuff, not good and whatever. So, you know, seeing that culture and how they do things and all that, it's exciting. And, um, actually, I'd like to see a little more how, um, school goes. Because in Persona 3 and 4, you had, um, some school activities and some school things, but they were few and far between. And I know people want to do their own thing and all that, but, you know, just like during the day, instead of just like sitting through a lecture in class, maybe, you know, just see a little more how things work there. And we're going to the city this time in Persona 5, so it's going to be different than 4. A little more similar to 3, but maybe, hopefully, the school will be a lot bigger than just like two stories since it's set in Tokyo and some of the schools can get really big. So, I'm just hoping for that. Anyways, thoughts, comments. Do you think everything I said is going to be good? Maybe not. Do you think Persona 5 is going to be good? Hopefully. I'm really looking forward to this title. I'm still excited for it. Even though we've heard nothing since June. My hype levels 
it's still up there and in TGS I'm hoping we get a release date. We should be getting a release date, hopefully for Europe, America, and Japan. If not, US and Japan and you people in Europe. It's region free, PS4 is, so go ahead and import that. Anyways guys, um, uh, this video is over now and I'm going to keep playing the trailer just so you can keep watching. But uh, just a little update for my channel, you don't need to listen to this unless you care about my channel. My computer uh, is currently unfunctional, it's been unfunctional for about a month now. That's why I haven't been uploading videos and I'm only uploading this because it's just a mic and I have the trailer for playing over with, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, um, it's it's a working process. It's not. It's it just won't connect to the internet. I don't know why. Now I've run some things. I've uh, I, I don't I don't know. I'm thinking about moving my uh, recording station closer to the router so I can hardwire it instead of having this um, elaborate scheme I have set up here. Anyways, so. Look forward to gameplays. I want to continue Final Fantasy and Persona 2. I think I got Persona 2 fixed. I broke earlier. Well, I broke the emulator, but I think I fixed it. I'm not sure. So, look at that. And then, um, go to Nippon and I'll play that some more. Yay, the fun game. I love it. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, and um, check out my dancing video. That was, that was really cool. I had to try that three times because uh, I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to uh, phones and recording and stuff. I'm not, I'm not smart. I don't plan things out. So yeah, go check that out. I had a lot of fun doing that even though I know my dancing sucks. But it, it was a lot of fun. I love doing those Atlas things. Anyways guys, thank you for watching slash listening to me ramble on about Persona 5, and I will see you later.